Hello everybody. So I was thinking of doing a series of videos on pranayam and we can get started. I thought let's get started with something which is a relatively simpler pranayam and this is called the Brahmari pranayam. And I would be making videos over the next coming uh, one or two weeks on other pranayam and pranic, uh, you know, pranayam practices and uh, perhaps I'll, you know, be, I'll also be inviting a yoga teacher. Uh, those of you who have seen our uh, videos on um, mudras, so we might be calling uh, Mridugar uh, for sharing her, uh, sharing the practices of different pranayams and you know what, how they can help uh, being a Shivananda yoga teacher. Uh, so I have also been doing pranayam for a very, a very long time and I feel pranayam is a very powerful practice. It not only, of course, we know that whenever anything related to breath helps us become focused, become centered and we have a, you know, we, ha we are able to cope with stress better, we feel more calm and all of those, are, those things are definitely there. But, uh, and apart from that, I feel that as a regular practice of pranayam, it really changes your perspective towards a lot of decisions that you make, a lot of uh, beliefs that we have at times and many of the beliefs we may not be aware of why we have that belief because it is not our own belief, it is a belief that we have taken from the external world. So breath exercises and pranayam are extremely, extremely powerful to live a fulfilling life and to live a more expanded life and expanded consciousness. So today's pranayam, which is Brahmari, uh, it is also called the bumblebee or the black bee pranayam because of the sounds that we make. So it's the buzzing sound of the bee, mm, that kind of sound uh, is what we would be making and uh, it's a very, you'll be surprised how effective it is despite uh, that it sounds a little funny that we're making a B sound, but it's uh, very very effective and uh, So I'll show you of course how we will be doing it. We'll probably do a couple of rounds um, The reason I wanted to uh, do primary pranayam uh, is it is one of the easier pranayams and uh, It is also nowadays a lot of people are facing anxiety a lot of people are overworking their brains overthinking has become a very normal thing right so or many a time we are unable to sleep because we have so many thoughts in our mind or we are bombarded with so many thoughts visuals etc which just distract us all the time and so brahmari pranayam is very useful because uh, you know the effects or the benefits are if i were to talk about it uh, it calms the brain down it slows down the brain uh, in a good way it will reduce your anxiety levels and stress levels it will help you manage your stress better as well uh, because it works on the pineal and in pituitary glands which are there in uh, you know inside our uh, brain and uh, so it which also means because it uh, it uh, looks at optimal functioning of these two glands the pineal and the pituitary gland gland uh, that in turn will help in the proper functioning of the rest of the clans in different clans as well and uh, it will it's in the if you do it regularly you do reduce your blood pressure levels uh, it or it does also help you go deeper into your meditation it also improves the voice so it activates the throat chakra as well and it'll you know, you know your the softness of your voice or the softness of your uh, throat and uh, that also gets activated and you will be able to see a difference in the long run so those are some of the benefits uh, of uh, doing Brahmari Pranayam so let's get started and um, um, of course um, and I wanted to also mention that any type of Pranayam ideally should be done uh, in early morning uh, on an empty stomach and early morning because uh, ideally the process is that we do yogic practices then we do shavasana and then we do pranayam and then meditation so 
if you're not doing the entire thing, if you have say limited time and you just want to do it pranayam and uh, maybe a few minutes of meditation, what you can do is you can usually I do a little bit of deep breathing, maybe three four rounds or twelve rounds before I do the the more uh, deeper pranayams. So uh, it has to be any pranayam ideally should be done early morning. Uh, the second thing is that it should be done on an empty stomach. So if you had a main meal, so let's say you're not able to do it early in the morning, then at least three to four hours after a heavy meal and at least half an hour, 45 minutes to one hour after any biscuits, cookies, tea, coffee, whatever. Um, and, uh, uh, and yes, so it's important to also be in a quiet place where you are uh, able to uh, be uh, you, know, you, are, you will not be disturbed especially if you are just beginning your pranic pranayam practice so um, that is what I would uh, recommend and other than that uh, yeah if you know if I just remember any other precautions I will put it in the comment section uh, sorry I put it in the description <coughs> of this video um, and so just sit back and relax and find a place that is comfortable where your back is straight okay if you can sit in Padmasana nothing like it but if you can't sit in uh, Sukhasana or sit maybe just comfortable comfortably in a chair that's also fine so with your back straight what you need to do is uh, so closing your eyes and I usually like to do the humming with a OM sign kind of sound uh, okay so first we uh, we inhale then closing you know using our thumbs gently pressing not hard because we don't want to hurt our ears so just gently pressing so that we are just creating a vacuum or a closure and the rest of the fingers are here as I place them and just follow my lead, it's very simple. So taking a deep breath in So opening your eyes now so as uh, you would have noticed that your entire mind and brain area starts buzzing right literally like a bee and it doesn't have to be loud it just has to be just uh, just about right whatever comes naturally intuitively to you towards you and so when we start releasing, so when we inhale and then we close basically all these parts and these are pressure point parts or meridian points, okay, and uh, that's the reason why we place them there as well. Um, and when you re the release of the breath happens as we put down that sound, mm, so when that is happening, we're releasing the, on the breath of air and every time you inhale, you have to open your ear up. If, you know you would have noticed it I was pressing it and then releasing it pressing and releasing for inhalation so that's that's what Brahmari Pranayam is and uh, let me know how you feel about it and if you can 
you know, do it on a regular basis uh, you'll see a major change and I love it you know the there are days when I'm able to do it uh, when there's been a lot of mental work or you know you've done done a lot of um, brain work and it will primary pranayam will instantly relax you and center you because of the sound so let me know how it goes and what you think of the primary pranayam experience till next time bye bye thank you